I got you. <laughs> okay. Hello, people. Welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. Hello, 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 hello. I hope everybody is here. Welcome, welcome. It's nice to have you. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. How are you? Everything good? I'm fine. Oh, that's great. Yes, fantastic. Welcome. And I hope everything is going well at home. And I hope everybody is everybody happy, right? And ready. Okay, so uh, thank you so much for being here. Okay. Gosh. Okay. Thank you so much. Welcome. Okay. Okay. Well, it looks like a video. Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, this is, as you may know, this is class number 16. So today we'll finish with, um, with all these teams. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Yes. Have it here. So welcome. It's nice to have you. I wish you the best. Uh, we're gonna start with this class. As you may see, we have section number five. Tell me about your family. And on today's class, we're gonna have a little bit of discussion of quantifiers. This pre-intermediate one, and this is class number sixteen. And Mr. Palomo, and thank you so much for being here on today's, which is our last English class for this module. Okay, so very good to all of you. You did a really nice job and great job on this module, okay? And I really appreciate all the effort you did on this one, okay? So I hope that we can um, continue like learning a little bit more, right? So on this hour that we have, and we can take advantage of, of this time that we have available. There is one topic available at the end of this module, which is about quantifiers that we use it in English when it comes to quantities. Okay, so we're going to take a look into those, uh, um, let's say, grammar points that we have, ex additional grammar points that we have. So uh, it's nice to have you all today. Okay, thank you so much for being here. We have Gabriela, Jenny. Uh, um, thank you so much. Lourdes also is here. Also Jose Antonio, Christian, Luis Alejandro, Olga as well. Jefferson, Alejandra, Claudia, Juan Carlos, Elena, Selma, Dalila, and Ingrid. So welcome all of you to this English class. We are tomorrow la attendance right now. So just, just give me a minute. Alba Cruz de Vasquez. Alba Cruz, no, she isn't. What about Alejandra Maria? Presente, teacher. Thank you. So much and welcome, Angel Isaac. Angel Isaac. No, y Carlos Lopez. Carlos Lopez. No, he isn't. Claudia Constante. I'm here, teacher. Perfect. Good evening. Welcome, Concepción de Lourdes Núñez. Good evening. Teacher. Good evening and welcome, Cristian Galicia. Present teacher. Good evening, Christian. Welcome. Dalila Cristina Gomez. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Dalila. Elena Peralta. I'm here, teacher. Present. Welcome. Nice to have you. Gabriela Ramirez. Gabriela Ramirez de Galdames. Gabriela Ramirez de Galdames. 
Now she is there. Gabriela Lizette Lopez Ramirez. Gabriela Lizette Lopez Ramirez. Now she is there. Gabriela Orellana Tejada. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Gab oh my gosh. Iliana Hernandez. Iliana Hernandez. Iliana? No, she is in. Um, Ingrid Ventura. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Ingrid. Welcome. Irma Galdames. No, she is in. Um, Jefferson Perez. Jefferson Perez. No, he is in. Um, Jenny Molina. Jenny Molina. Present teacher. Good evening. Thank you so much, good evening. Jose Antonio Montes. Jose Antonio Montes. No, he is in. Juan Carlos Pleasant Lopez. Teacher. Oh, Jose Antonio? Sorry, sorry, pleasant. Oh, that's okay, no problem. Good evening, welcome. Juan Carlos Lopez? I'm here, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Juan Carlos. Welcome, nice to have you. Thank you. Uh, Catherine Calzadilla. Catherine Calzadilla. No, okay, let's carry on with, oh my gosh. Catherine, I'm sorry, yes. Leticia del Carmen Cruz. Leticia del Carmen Cruz. And she is it. Uh, Luis Mendoza. Hello, Luis. Okay. Que Luis está por ahí, voy a revisar. Mariela Martínez. Mariela Martínez. No, no, she is in. Miguel. No, he is in. Uh, Mariela. Mariela. ¿Es usted? Pues, ok, thank you, Mariela. Good evening. Very good. Olga Valdez. Present teacher. Thank you, Olga. Welcome. Telma Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you, Telma. Good evening. Veronica Alas. Present teacher. Vilma. Vilma Cortez. No, she isn't. And Zaira Melara. Zaira Melara. No, she Give me a minute, I'm sorry. Okay. Good evening. What is your name? Never mention me, Prof. Siwa. Yes, what is your name? Okay, Luis Mendoza, present teacher. No le he escuchado. Thank you, Luis. Prof. Never mention me también. Yes, what is your name? Uh, Jefferson. <laughs> okay, Jefferson. Welcome. Nice to have you. Bye. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Carlos Lopez, teacher. Carlos Lopez. Carlos David Lopez. Carlos David López. Ahí, Carlos, ahorita le tomé ya. Perfect. Welcome. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay, people. Again, thank you so much for being here. Let me check. Eh, Alba. Okay, Alba. Ahorita le tomo la asistencia. Thank you so much for letting me know, Alba. Okay. Perfect. Again, como les comentaba, thank you so much for your participation in this module. You did a great job. Recordarles, Olfo, también en la plataforma, pues, estar siempre a, al día, ¿no? Ahí, pues, que se estaba pendiente. Yes. Y, pues, en inconvenience, pues, um, le notifican al técnico, ¿verdad? Hay alguien encargado ahí, pues, para que les, um, les apoye. ¿Ok? Ok. 
give me a minute, please. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's begin. Yesterday, eh, estuvimos hablando a little bit of present continuous and simple present. Entonces, uh, vamos a tener una practic practice, an exercise uh, about it. Y vamos, pues, a, a practicar en este game que está okay? Entonces, uh, yo voy a poner el game y usted me va a decir si la sentence es simple present o es present continuous. Ok. Ok, igual aquí pueden participar eh, todos. Yes, yes. No voy a mencionar los names por el tiempo, porque me va a dar tiempo. Entonces, si usted sabe la respuesta, yo yo stem. Ok, let's begin. Ok, aquí arriba tenemos la, la sentence, si la pueden ver. Yes. Ok, he, she, and they. ¿Qué pasó aquí? ¿Qué pasó aquí? Ver to be. Ver to be. Ver to be, ok. That is correct. Luego tenemos, again, he, she, they, and I. Uh, okay. Ver to be, lo mismo. Espérame, espérame. Oh my gosh, we lost this game. Okay. Let's continue, okay? What about this one? Uh, uh, I, the elephant, the elephant is playing in the water. What is that? Present continuum? Present continuum. Present continuum. Okay. okay. I speak English. Okay. Present simple. Okay, present simple. Okay, present simple. What about this one? Very good. What about this one? Present and present sim no. That is correct. Okay, present. Yesterday, we were talking about present simple, right? And how this thing works. Remember, present simple is with the things that we do every day. And present uh, continuous is like the action, the, the things that we do like at the time of the speaking, okay? So, um, thank you so much. Let's begin with this thing that is called quantifiers. Quantifiers, so let me, okay. Quantifiers, okay? Vamos a ver un video, okay, so we can uh, have a little bit of information and then we can practice, okay? Let's listen. And... This time we'll talk about quantifiers. When we don't know the exact percentage of something, we use words like some, most, a few. Stay and learn more quantifiers and how to use them. Quantifiers. All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Notice how these quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want to make reference to 100%, you may say all. And then you work down the scale depending on the percentage you want to refer to. Follow me in this example. Nearly all women work nowadays. Nearly all, quantifier. Women, plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns, except no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one, quantifier, gets the verb. As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about count nouns so you are able to use these quantifiers. 
families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Notice how these quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want to make reference to 100%, you may say all, and then you work down the scale depending on the percentage you want to refer to. Follow me in this example. Nearly all women work nowadays. Nearly all, quantifier. Women, plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns, except no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one, quantifier, gets the verb. As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about count nouns so you are able to use these quantifiers. Type in two examples using any quantifier. So then we have this thing that we call quantifiers in English. So when we want to make a percentage about something, we can use this vocabulary to do it. Okay, so we have all, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, few, and none of. Okay. So these are quantifiers, and, and uh, there is one characteristic about these things, because tenemos que fijar los que el plural, pues, del noun, okay? Entonces, el noun tiene que estar en plural, pues, para que lo ocupemos antes de eso, yes? For example, a lot of, all, few, nearly all, families are small. Entonces, the context that we have here, el context, are, is plural, okay? So be careful with that one, because we are going to use plurals um, with these quantifiers. Exact, exact, no one, no one gets married, okay? Eso sí es, um, how do you say that? Like, like, get the singular, singular, plural. Okay, Catherine, thank you. Good evening, present. Sorry que no me había conectado, <laughs> pero no había luz. Oh, okay. Pero Welcome, Catherine. <laughs> Perfect. Nice to have you. Nice thank to you. have you. Ahorita le tomo la attendance, Catherine. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome. Nice to have you. One more time on this. That is you, class. Okay. So, again, I was. Talking about this one, how do we use our mm -hmm. um, quantifiers in English? Okay. No sé si ustedes se han fijado en algunos textos, están estas expresiones, right? Okay. Nearly all, most, many, a lot of, um, not many, few, uh, no one. Okay. Well, uh, this, this vocabulary is called quantifiers. And we used in a link at, in English to indicate quantities, okay, about something that is most of the time plural, okay. Um, aquí tenemos otro que es nearly all, which is this one. It's like almost, okay. So uh, the key thing here with quantifiers is to identify what is the percentage that we have, for example. Uh, in Monroe, zero percent of the people try before the age of 16. So I can say in Monroe, no one tries before the age of 16. Okay. So in vez de decir el porcentaje, right? Then we utilize este vocabulary. Yes. Así como en simple present. ¿Se acuerdan en simple present? 
utilizábamos sometimes. Bueno, en este contexto es para decir las, las cantidades, right? Okay. So we use this vocabulary here to communicate that. Okay. Vamos con el number two. ¿Cómo quedaría el number two, um, José Antonio? What do you think number two? Mm, I believe mm, a lot of them. Mm, I don't know. Okay. So, so the percentage thing is 98%. 98%. Oh, no, no, no. So you, you need yes. to take the scale here and take the vocabulary that goes related to 98 um nearly all exactly right so we have part nearly all very good okay nearly all yes nearly all we have un poquito para que pueda ver nearly all of the students okay uh finished uh, school Exactly. High school. Oh my gosh, that's that's not good, right? Yes. Yeah, oh yes, I think that is good. Nearly all um, nearly all of the students finish high school. Okay. So very good. Okay. Jose? So entonces ¿qué es lo que hago acá? Well substitute, right? Este es lo, lo first information that I have, which is this one, the percentage. Y lo que voy a utilizar, voy a utilizar un quantifier, una palabra quantifier, para indicar, eh, pues, algo que sea similar a este 99%. Yo no quiero decir 99%. Entonces, what I say is, nearly all of the students finish high school. Okay? Give me a minute because I need to check the chat. Irma. Thank you so much for being here. Nice to have you. Thank you. Uh, well, I was on. in a stock of traffic. Oh, yeah. It's heavy, right? It's heavy. Because it was raining. Yes, we have rain today. It's yeah. kind of rare because uh, it's like, it's not a heavy rain. It's like a. <laughs> ya, ya le tomé la asistencia. Okay, Irma. And also okay. Leticia también. Very good. Okay. Thank you so much, Leticia. Okay. So back to this, back to this. Okay, entonces yo voy sustituyendo, right? I'm, I'm changing the, the percent or the number. Yes. Y en vez de poner el number, pues utilizo uno de estos quantifiers. Okay. Thank you so much. Let's work with you, Lourdes. Number three, Lourdes. Ah, uh, teacher. Yes. Mm, hay mucho de ese vocabulario que es nuevo para mí, no lo conozco. Entonces no sé. Oh, okay. Como por ejemplo, a half you, no sé qué es. Nearly all. O sea, no oh, sé. Ok, very good. Ok. Así uh, rapidito se lo, se lo voy a explicar aquí para que lo Ajá. ¿Ve esta escala aquí? Scale, yes. Del sí. porcentaje, right? Del 100 al 0. Yes. Ajá. Entonces, estas palabras, pues, nos dan el porcentaje o la cantidad de algo. Ah, yes. Entonces. Sí, sí. Eso lo entiendo, pero así literal como few, no sé qué es. O oh, few. ¿Qué crees que significa few? No sé. <risa> uh -huh. No sé. Oh, Excuse me, José. Um, poco. Exactly. El salvadoreño es poquito, right? Poquito. poquito. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Ahora, siempre lo voy a ocupar con cantidades. Ok. Ahora, las cantidades que voy a ocupar todas van a ser plurales. Ahora, ¿por qué se llama quantifiers? Porque nos ayuda con cantidades. Salvo el último, que es singular, right? No. Pero todos desde de, de few para arriba van con cantidades. Okay, entonces, usted le va dando un porcentaje. You know what I mean? The few es poquito. Not many. No muchos, right? Some. Algunos, yes. A lot of. 
Más o menos, se puede decir. En el 50%, right? En el 50%, like a lot of, eh, al, digamos, bastantes, right? Bastantes, ¿sí? Bastantes, yes. Y luego tenemos many, right? Many, pues es, es, es mucho, right? Yes. Y Entonces, most, la mayoría. Y nearly all, casi todo, right? Nearly all, casi, casi todo. Casi todo. Yes. Entonces, ahora, lo que vamos a hacer acá, eh, Lourdes, es sustituir este porcentaje. Por ejemplo, aquí le doy un número, mire. 100%. Ajá. Entonces, para yo no decir 100%, puedo utilizar estos quantifiers, este vocabulary. Claro, yo tengo que saber, right? ¿Cuál se pega según el número, right? ¿Cuál, cuál va ahí? Yes. Based on, based on the number. Okay. Por ejemplo, estos quantifiers le ayudan cuando usted está haciendo un summary about something. Ok. Sí. Ok. Entonces, ¿cómo que quedaría el nombre 3? 100%. 100%. Eh, a lot. A lot of. A lot of. A lot of. Oh, ¿cuál, ¿Cuál palabra está a la par del 100%? The 100... Eh, 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 percent of children. No, aquí, aquí. Ah, ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. All. Exacto. Ok, entonces, uh -huh. si miras el scale, que está ahí, sí, y usted va, ah, entonces si es 100%, pues vamos a ir con all. Very good. Entonces viene usted y le cambia. En vez de ponerle ese nombre, ese nombre pone all y luego pues lo que le sigue. Right? All the children, no sé qué. Ajá. Exactly. All of the of children. children start school by the start. age of six. Exactly. School by the age. Ah, todos los chicos. Ajá. Este es la escuela. Exactly. Very good. Entonces. Pues yo no quiero decir, digamos, 100%, porque es un poquito más larga la palabra. ¿eh? ¿Eh? Entonces, como es un poquito más larga, yo puedo utilizar estas sí. palabras para sustituir ese nombre. Entiendo eso de sustituir. Lo que tengo que aprender es cómo ubicar qué significa cada uno de estos quantifiers para darle mejor sentido a la palabra. Yes, that's very uh -huh. good. Y, y cómo uh -huh. lo puede hacer es, con esta escala, right? Con esta escala, usted va viendo, ah, ahí, ahí me voy, este, um, guiando. Okay, very good, Lourdes. Great job. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Ahora, si ustedes se fijan, miren, después de esto, pues lo que yo escribo tiene que ir en plural. Okay, tiene que ir en plural. Okay, thank you so much. Very good. Let me see who else is available here. Uh -huh. Ah, let me Let me check, let me check. We have a boy, Carlos Lopez. Thank you. Puede participar, Carlos? Hello, hello. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Number four. Number four. Este. Okay. Sure. Mm. Uh, have. Have more. Sorry, voy a ver bien. <laughs> eh, sería number four. Sería a eh, one um, one child one child a um, eh, one child have more no. Uh, no. So, uh, have more than uh, 89% of hopeless. Okay. Thank you so okay. much. Okay. Just, just because in the first one we have no one. In the second one we have nearly all. In the number three, we have all. So that means that the end, so lo tengo dos. A lot of and few. Okay. 
So that's what I have based on this one. Okay, Irma. Thank you. Um, for me, I think that would be a lot of. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a lot good. of. Yes, a lot of arrogance. Uh, oh my gosh. A uh, lot of couple, couples have more than one child. Child. Very good. A lot of couples have more. Oh my gosh. Than one child. Than one child. Very good. Yes, that's very good. So a lot of a lot of couples have more than one child. Yes. Very good. And the last one should be few. 23% from. Okay. So let's see, because the last one is one. Like few yeah. people. Exactly. Few. Um of the families, right? I'm sorry. Families. Have more than four children. Okay. So, um, at least it's not something like like difficult, but but at the end, it gets complicated, I guess, because we need to use the correct um, let's say, a percentage here, the scale that we have here with quantifiers. So we can use them properly. Okay. Thank you, Lord. This that's very nice. That's very nice. Okay. So we need to be careful with the with the quantifier scale. So we can use that. I think. Okay. So if you see here, it says twenty three percent of the families, and the option is few, few of them. <laughs> this one. Okay. Um. So you can work. You can figure it out how this scene works. Okay, vamos a, a ver un poquito más de practice. Just give me a minute. Don't worry, solo necesito hacer algo. Give me a minute, please. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. Here we go. And the other one was. Um, okay. And then. Uh, Oh my gosh. No. del Carmen. Oh my gosh, because I don't find you. Leticia del Carmen. I don't find your last name, Leticia. Leticia, Leticia. Oh, yes, I find you here. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. Show you more. More examples about this one. So we can. Okay. Okay, so here we have this one, okay, which is about, again, here we have like a diagram, or something like that. It says, we write these sentences about the United States using the quantifiers given. Aquí tenemos el quantifier, right? ¿Se acuerdan de los quantifiers? Esto que está acá. Perdón, no, sorry. Estos quantifiers aquí, pues nos están acá. Yes. Entonces tenemos dos. ¿Cuáles son esos dos, uh, Claudia? Es yes. más and few. Más and few. Very good. Entonces, esos dos quantifiers, usted los puede ver en este circle. Ok. Yes. In that circle, you can identify. Oh, ¿cuál sería más? Ahí yes. está, Antonio. José Antonio, ¿cuál sería más? Uh -huh. Most. Uh, yeah. Most is 90%. 9%. 90, 90%. 90%, right? And few sería 10%, right? Yes. 10%. Very good. Ahora, ¿qué más nos da? Mire, nos dan aquí, pues lo que vamos a hablar, ¿verdad? Right? Public school and private school. Y aquí en la gente nos da, pues en letras, lo que tenemos aquí en numbers. In, in numbers okay? 99% of children got a private school. 10% of children got a private school. Okay? 
Ahora, ¿qué es lo que hacemos? Again, pues sustituimos ese, ese número that we have here y utilizamos el quantifier. ¿Ok? So the first one is done. Most children go to public school. So, ¿cómo quedaría el next one? Mm -hmm. Anybody? Anybody, please? Thank you. Few children go to Few children, private school. children go to private school. Oh, private, private. Good. Children, oh my gosh, I think we copied on that. Sorry. Children go to private school. Oh my gosh, I did not Oh my gosh. Private school. Okay. Yes. Few children go to play private school. Yes. Teacher, disculpe ahí una, una observación. Es que ahí en el, en el ejemplo anterior vi que siempre ponía of the, of the, of the, of the children. Entonces, como en la, el video vi que después de los este, quantifier siempre va el, 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 ¿cómo se dice? El, el plural, very el good. Nom, el nom. El Entonces, yo digo, sería most children sin decir of the children. Exactly, Juan Carlos. Very good. Yes, that is correct. Yes. Sí, ahí, ahí me equivoqué, right? Le puse el of. Creo que a todos. Yes. Right? Sí, of the student, of the... Yes, very good. Very good. Sí, ahí, ahí, este, uh, I did a mistake, okay? Thank you so much for letting me know. Yes. So, quedaría así, right? It's most fácil así, right? So, most children go to public school and few children go to private school. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this? Mm -hmm. What do you think about this? Um, let me see. Uh, let me see. Elena, do we have Elena here? Elena, are you here? Yes. Oh no, I think she was here, but not anymore. I think she left. Okay, Elena? It's Elena Marisol Peralta. Hi, teacher, I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay, no problem. What do you think about this? About this information, like most children go to private public school and few children go to private school. What do you think about it? Do you agree or do you disagree? And tell me why, please. Few children go to private school. Mm -hmm. mm. My opinion. Um, I don't know. Okay. No problem. No problem. Thank you so much. Jose, thank you, Jose. Tell me, what's your opinion about it? Sorry, teacher. Uh, I don't. I me escuché bien. Me me puede repetir. Oh, sure. What is your opinion about this information? Like, mm. do you agree or do you disagree? Um. Uh, well, can I go? Can I go? Mm, I agree. I believe we. Yo creo que está bien porque... Because... Uh -huh. Ya, yeah, uh, because... Um, the most children go to school now, in these times. And, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, but that, that is public school, right? Or, or private school? Ah, uh, no, public school. Okay, so in El Salvador, public, public schools are, are, are like... It Let's is say popular, right? Yes, in, in the suburb. In the suburb is public school, in my opinion. That is and not... to ride the schools is uh, <laughs> I mean, why 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 in El Salvador students like they don't go to private school? Why why is that what is the main reason? Because it... more uh, family never... says money. Exactly right because yeah. of the money because of the money, money. because private school we need to pay we need to pay right every month yes uh, and and we don't have that right we don't, 
Pero nada, bueno, man, eso. We just say that. Our, our children to pray. Yes. Well, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah that, that's true. And, and the reality is like, uh, well, uh, pues, um, a uno le toca que vivir con lo que tiene. You know what I mean? And, and, and como yo se lo he comentado, be happy con lo que se tiene, right? Yes. Si usted lo puede mandar a un private school, that is good. Si no lo puede mandar, that is good as well, right? At the end, that is life. And we're going to keep living. You know what I mean? Doing the best we can. And, and that's what we have. Yes, uh, that's what we have. Thank you so much. That's true. Yes, thank you so much. And also, very good for letting me know that. What about, oh my gosh, tengo que borrar esto. Give me a minute. Thank you. We have another one here. Look at this one. Okay, we have another one, okay? Again, now here we have, again, with two quantifiers, we have many and some, and what people do after they finish school. I know, but this is reality, right? What do we do when we finish school? What do we do? Okay, here we have the information, and here we have the option. Go to, go to college, look for work, and other things, right? Yes. So, 62% of young people go to college after they finish high school. According to the college is, well, like university, right? That's college. 30% uh, of young people look for work. Okay. So, ¿Cómo nos quedaría this one? Mm -hmm. Many young people go to college after they finish high school. Beautiful. Many young people uh, go to, I'm sorry, go to college after uh, they finish high, high school. Okay, yes. yes, thank you so much. And what about with some? What do we have with some? Some young people look for work. Exactly, nice. Right? Um, oh my god, I'm sorry. Uh, young people, oh. young people uh, look for work. Okay. Thank you. Irma, what do you think about this information? Mm -hmm. Like here in Hi. El Salvador, do you think like this is like somehow true? Uh, few? The, the 4%. Uh, no, I'm talking about this too, many and some. Like, many. do you think, yes, many and some. Do you think like, uh, like here in El Salvador, we have the same, like, in this area? Um, here in El Salvador, uh, I don't think so. Don't tell me why, please. Uh, because, well, maybe, maybe in this, in this, and nowadays, but before wasn't. Before it wasn't, but nowadays, maybe. Maybe the many young people go to college. Yeah, but before I remember that was it wasn't <laughs> the the first thing that the people did was to have children. <laughs> <laughs> but nowadays we are thinking more. <laughs> okay, more. they still have children, right? They yeah. <laughs> Oh, yes. And some young people look mm. for work. Yeah. <laughs> some thank young you so much. people. Thank you so much, Irma. That okay. was really nice. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Jose. Tell me. Yeah, um, I believe that is switching because um, uh, some, some young people go to college, in my opinion. Uh, 
uh, many young people look for work. Yeah, so, so you think it's the My, opposite, right? Jose? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. I in the agree server, in the server. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> in the server. Yeah, I agree. I, I, agree. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree because it's like, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's because, I don't know, it's like a lot of competition nowadays, right? Young people uh, competing for a, for a job position um, is heavy. And, and, and uh, like here in the Salvador, I mentioned is 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 somehow difficult to study in, in college because somehow it's expensive. Let's say, and sometimes young 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 people they don't pass the test in pub in public uh, college. Okay, in public university, they don't pass in, the test. Yes, in another case, I the the two some for example one. Uh, can go to the college. Oh yes, very yes. good. Okay. That's a good observation. Like, like as you mentioned, like, like our parents, they they um had let's say four children, right? And out of those four, just just be one. And that one will go <laughs> to go to college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. so the rest and the rest, yes. Um, we'll do the rest to to to, to get a job. Yeah, because of the money, because studying is expensive. Studying is expensive. Um, yeah. Yeah. Now, nowadays, also we have we need to pay computers, we need to pay internet connection. Um. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of money. I guess everything is getting expensive. And I don't know. Thank you so much for sharing that. Yeah, that that's tough. That's tough. I uh, thank you so much. A minute because I need to place this. Very good. And I think we have another one. This one. What people 65 and older do? Okay, so we have not many, a lot of, nearly all. Okay. Here we have the option talking, a hobby, soccer. And then we have 95% of people over 65 like to talk to family and friends. 43% of the people over 65 like to spend time on, on a hobby. And 3% of people over 65 like to play soccer. Okay. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la sentence? Está sustituyendo estos, estos um, percentage. Okay. Anybody, please tell me. No man, no man, no many people over six, 65 like to play soccer. Not many. No many. Okay. Over, right? Over 65. Over 65 like yeah. to play. Esto sí me gusta oh. bastante because it's very good. It's very good. Okay. Si me gusta, you know, because it's about older people. Yes, and scientists sometimes they don't care about other people, and and unfortunately, well, that's part of our life. Todos vamos a llegar a esa edad, right? Y y es sad cuando la society a esa edad pues que hace un lado it's like they don't care about you anymore. And the government they don't care, and sometimes like even. Um, on and also that is they don't care about that's 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 okay thank you what about the number the next one a lot of per, per, percent of people over 65 65 like to tell to family and friends okay so they are mm -hmm. to spend time on hobby uh, oh, yes, very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. People, okay, over 65 like to spend time on a hobby, right? Yes, having a hobby is very good. Hobby. Okay, so, oh my gosh. Hobby. It's like baby. Okay, very good. And the last one is going to be like this one, right? 
um, people over 65 uh, like to talk oh my gosh so, so they get talkative oh yes 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 um they get up pretty much early in the morning at four that's what they do <laughs> that's what they do and and as i told you before this is i love this 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 survey pretty much this question because everybody we will face llegamos a esta edad everybody we will face these things okay and, and and we can think about the things that we did when we were young like and that will be pretty much sad okay because because like um yes i'm seeing it in el salvador i'm seeing it this and for me it's sad to, to see this like um no tenemos la pensión right yes um and it's sad and it's sad to get this age and 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 being treated like that it's not it's not good what do you think about this jenny polina about this information do you agree or what's your opinion about this entendí <laughs> Denme su opinión acerca de este, esta información, de este resultado. Wow, this question. Sería la... Muchas personas... Yes. Eh, tienen un, un entretenimiento, un hobby. Exactly. Exactly. El 43%. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Y el 95. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Del King. Oye, se me olvidé. Que platican. Que platican mucho. Y el 3% que practican, juegan pelota o practican yeah. algún deporte. No, no, play soccer, play soccer. Play soccer, vea, sí, de, de fútbol. Y me equivoqué ahí porque le puse play, mire, no sé por qué. Play. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what do you think about this, this information? Mm -hmm. What is your opinion about it? ¿Está correcta o no? Or... Like here in El Salvador, um, does this happen to older people? Like, do do older people do this when they get like over sixty five years old? I know that was they like like your your grand. I'm sorry, your your yes, your grandfather and your grandmother like they like to talk a lot with you or with your uh, let's say grandchildren. No. <laughs> Sorry, no entendí. That's okay, no problem, no problem. Okay, Juan Carlos, what is your opinion about these results? Okay, tell me. Please. Well, uh, I think I think in El Salvador that percent of people over sixty five like to play soccer is more. Bueno, hay muchos, hay muchos abuelitos que juegan papi fútbol. That is true. That is true. Yes. Maybe that is true. Yes. So we can have a little bit more, right? On playing soccer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what about what about a hobby? What do you think about a hobby? Eh, sí, hay bueno que van de pesca o a veces este se ponen a los jardines, se ponen a arreglar jardines ahí en la casa. Es la hobby más. The garden. I, I, do I, I do that. I, I do the garden. I do the garden. So I'm getting old. Sí, los agricultores. Hay muchos abuelitos que pueden oh, sembrar yes. o algo. That is true. That is true. Very good. Very good. And what about the talking? What do you think about it? That's like similar. 
Mm, ah, bueno, aquí en El Salvador la, la, hay muchos abuelitos que lastimosamente la familia, si no están en Estados Unidos, por el trabajo casi no pasan mucho tiempo con ellos. O sea, un porcentaje menos que, que el 95%. Yes, they, they are still working, right? Some of them. Yeah, that's, that's, that's sad. You know what I mean? Like, mm. Yes. I hope that for me, in my case, I hope when I get like this age, pues, me puedan dar la, la pensión de un dólar, right? Es lo más que te van a dar, right? One dollar, so we can get a pastilla matarata and then we're done, okay? <laughs> we're done. <laughs> I don't think so. Because they are taking my money and I don't see future. I don't see future of it. I hope that I hope that we can we can get a better a better future, right? Uh, because I mean, como dijo your your classmate, um, sometimes. We have older people still working, um, and they, they shouldn't they shouldn't do that. You know what I mean? Because it, it's time for them to rest. It's time for them to have a hobby. It's time for them like to play puppy football, right, Juan Carlos? Um, so so they can yeah. so they can do it. You know what I mean? And um, that is sad. That, as I told you before, it, it's sad when the government well they don't care about, about it. So um, okay. Let's see what else do we have. Just give me a minute. Give me a minute, please. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, people, thank you so much. We did it. You did it. Okay. Um, thank you. Thank you so much for surviving. Okay. Thank you so much for helping me out. <laughs> thank you so much for aguantarme, right? Because <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, my horrible voice. Thank you so much. You did a great job, all of you. Igual, ¿verdad? Siempre motivarnos a continuar con su aprendizaje. Right? Yo les comentaba desde el principio del curso, pues que han hecho un gran esfuerzo. Y es, ustedes hacen un gran esfuerzo eh, porque trabajan, porque tienen responsabilidades en casa, pues porque tienen un montón de cosas que hacer, right? Y, y aparte de, pues, eh, de las diferentes situaciones, porque se dan y están todavía aquí, ¿eh? Uh, practicing your English y pues se les felicita right? y se les motiva a continuar uh, como yo les comentaba right? seguimos vivos just keep enjoying food right be nice okay and you know keep living keep living okay so de mi parte thank you so much espero verlos en un future okay cuando esté cuando estemos en New York right cuando estés en New York y me encuentro ahí a, a Jenny, right? Le voy a decir, Jenny, look at this, hot dogs, right? No, teacher. Me <laughs> voy a decir, hello, teacher, right? Yes. I can hear you. Sí, okay, un I gusto, wish. teacher. Y gracias a usted también por tenernos paciencia. Oh, no, no. Sí, gracias. Thank you, teacher. My Thank pleasure. You. Vilma, Vilma. Hey, yes, teacher. Eh, solamente eh, estoy presente, ¿verdad? Ingresé tarde porque vine un poco después del trabajo. Es a present. Y thank you, teacher. Ahorita le tomé la tienda, Vilma. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so thank much. You. No, eh, motivarlo siempre, right? Sí, siempre sigan, pues, adelante, right? Eh, en esto del aprendizaje. Um, igual, motívense de lo que puedan. No sea de sus hijos, de su esposo, de su esposa, de sus mascotas, de su familia, whatever, whatever. De sus plantas. De, de lo que sea, right? Motívese, so you can, so you can have a better life. That would be good. Uh, Alba, ¿qué pasó, Alba? Alba, ¿me quería decir algo? Yes. Sí, teacher. Oh, quería okay. agradecerle. Oh, yes. Agradecerle todo, por todo este, su enseñanza en este curso. Este, me imagino la paciencia que nos ha de tener, ¿verdad? Que a veces uno sale con unas, con unos chascarrillos, pero, pero muchas gracias y gracias por la dedicación. My pleasure, my pleasure. Thank you so much. It's very nice. Thank you so much to you. My pleasure. Thank you. Irma, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you uh, for your patience and also uh, I have enjoyed the class. 
Oh, I wonderful. hope to continue practicing. And, lástima que, que no fue presencial, no porque hubiéramos comprado aunque sea pupusas para celebrar. Y tengo una dinámica para los presenciales que mmm, de las que dan pena, ¿va? Y de las que dan pena. Okay. <laughs> sí. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, people. Good night. And I wish you the best. Thank you. 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 Thank